Hello guys, welcome to Dental Mate. Today in this video, we'll be talking about the incremental lines of dentine. Let's get started. Okay, so the word incremental lines, the word increment means something which is being done in parts, increments, chote chote parts mein. Okay. Here we'll be talking about the incremental lines of von Ebener, the contour lines of Owen, and the neonatal lines of Denti. We'll be zooming on to this section of the tooth. Okay, so this is the enamel, the cementum, pulp, and Denti. Now, First of all, if we see the incremental lines, see the incremental lines of von Ebener, they appear as fine lines or striations in the dentine. These are the fine lines or striations in the dentine. They run at right angles to the dentinal tubules. Can we see this? They are running at right angles to the dentinal tubules. They correspond to the incremental lines in the enamel and bone. See. They are basically representing the daily rhythmic recurrent deposition of dentine matrix as well as the hesitation in the daily formative process. Means the rhythmic de deposition of dentine matrix ka, wo represent, represent kar as well as the hesitation ho hai, fir jo bhi usme, the problems are or stops are in the formation of the matrix wo bhi represent karega. increments bhi or hesitation in the daily formative process. The distance between the two lines is approximately 4 to 8 micrometers in the crown and it is much lesser in the root. In the root, they are closely packed. The daily increment decreases after the tooth reaches its functional occlusion. Okay? So, when the tooth functional occlusion, then the root formation chalta hai. And when the tooth comes to the functional occlusion, then what happens? The daily increment decreases. So, these lines are closure together. Now, 20 micrometers apart line, they represent 5 days interval. Okay? So, what we can see? 20 micrometer apart at the 5 days ka interval. And how many interval mein these lines are present? Approximately 4 to 8 micrometers. Ke. So, if we divide this, what we get is... 2 micrometers of or, uh, organic matrix, it is deposited in 12 hour cycle and daily 4 micrometers. Daily 4 micrometers, 12 hour cycle means half, that is 2 micrometers and in a 5 days interval, they are 20 micrometers apart. Okay. Next, if we talk about the contour lines of oven, the contour lines of oven, these are basically the accentuated incremental lines of von Ebener. Incremental lines jab accentuate ho jayengi, then they are known as the contour lines of oven. This represents the disturbance in matrix and mineralization process. Mineralization process or matrix formation dono mein. These are seen clearly in the ground section. These are also hypocalcified bands seen clearly in the ground section and they are formed due to the coincidence of secondary curvatures. We have seen that secondary curvatures are present in the dentinal tubules. Wo coincide hote hain, jiski wajah se contour lines of oven is formed. Next, it is the neonatal line. So, the neonatal line, it is seen in the deciduous teeth and in first permanent molars. Okay? Um, both of these Neonatal line, contour lines, these are both hypocalcified bands. So, neonatal lines, they also represent zone of hypocalcification. This separates prenatal and postnatal dentine. Okay. These are accentuated contour lines of oval. Accentuated incremental lines are contour lines. Accentuated contour lines are neonatal lines. They reflect the abrupt change in the environment that has occurred at birth. So, these are what? Zone of hypocalcification. Now, if we revise, there are three incremental lines seen in dentine. The incremental lines of von Ebener, the contour lines of oven and neonatal line. 
Incremental lines, they appear as fine lines or striations in the dentine. They run at right angle to the dentinal tubules and they correspond to the incremental lines of enamel or bone. They are representing the daily rhythmic recurrent deposition of the matrix as well as the hesitation which is taking place in the daily formative process located at a distance of 4 to 8 micrometers, two lines, whereas they are closure in the root. Next, contour lines are accentuated incremental lines of von Abener. They are hypocalcified bands and they are formed due to the coincidence of the secondary curvature. They represent disturbance in matrix and mineralization process. Neonatal line, they are accentuated contour lines of oven. They are also zones of hypocalcification. Neonatal line, they separate the prenatal and postnatal dentine formation. Okay, they reflect the abrupt change in the environment that has occurred at birth and they are thus seen in deciduous teeth and the first permanent molars. So this is it about the incremental lines of dentine. Stay tuned. Keep visiting. Thank you.